This is our Ranger 330 MPX uh, EFI. Here's our screen right here, our idle switch here. Plugs for you know DC positive and negative. GFCIs right here, uh, two 40 volt plugins. And then right here, we have a spool gun direct connect. This machine is 20% quieter than other competitive engine drives. Uh, this hatch right here has access to the engines. All these are uh, spot welded instead of bolted in, so there's not going to be any rattling as you continue to use the machine, so it will be much quieter. We also have a side panel right here where you can access everything. Note the foam too for noise insulation. And then also gas cap right here, entering your gas, exhaust, and then a hook as well for transporting it. Yep. So now we'll just go through the, yeah. the screen that he mentioned, some of the menus. So you got your stick welding, you got your flux core self-shielded, flux core gas shielded, spool gun. So you can directly hook up a spool gun to this machine, run it right off of it, no adapter needed. You got TIG welding, you got downhill pipe stick mode, you got carbon arc gouging, and you got your engine settings and just a set of menus. Let's say we're running 232 off this machine. I would do flux core self-shielded. Select that, all you're gonna do is push the button in. So now you have your control of your voltage. So if you hit this question mark, now you can set up what wire you're running, what process. So we'll say we're running an NR232. What size? We're running 072 wires. What plate thickness are we welding on? So this thickness is actually what it's telling you. So 3A. So if you held up the 3A too, it should match up to uh, the size on the screen. Select that. It'll tell you make sure you're in DC negative. Show you the correct connection guide. Well, yes. And then it'll give you a range of settings. You can still go outside of those. It'll turn red, it'll still run, but it's just letting you know you're outside of the recommended range. And then if you have your LN25 hooked up, it'll give you recommended wire feed speed range as well for it. Press the knob for more options. Now you can go in here and have your remote control range or pinch. So people ask, what does pinch do if I turn this on? So we have our Arc FX. It's actually going to show you what it's going to do to the to the puddle and the weld. So as you turn your pinch in the positive direction, you can see it's getting more focused, deeper penetration. As we turn it back to the negative, you can see the weld's gonna flatten out, not as much penetration. So you have more control over uh, what you want your arc to look like. Leave it off. And then when you're on these screens, just get back to the home menu. All you gotta do is hit the home button. You can switch over to anything else you want to run on. Yes,